Y'all, I really booked the trip to Cancun by myself yesterday. Wow. I remember hustling with the basics, dreaming about the day that I would make it. Now they all say congratulations. No cap shout at graduation. If you are watching this video, this is your sign to take that trip by yourself. If you have friends that don't want to go out of town with you or if you just want to take a solo trip but you're scared, this is your sign to take the trip and don't let nothing hold you back. I am living proof that you can go out of town and have fun by yourself, meet new people, have new adventures, and have a good time. In this space of life, I'm not letting my job hold me back. I'm not letting people hold me back. I am going to see the world. I'm going to travel. I'm telling myself I'm going to travel every single month. And I encourage everyone that is watching this video to do the same. Take time out for yourself. Go get the rest and the relaxation that you need in your life. Let's do not let nothing stress you out. What is up everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. If you are not new here, welcome back to my game. If you are new here, my name is Amari. Welcome back to my channel, everybody. As you guys can see, I am in Cancun. I am staying at the Rio's Cancun. I decided to book this trip two days ago now. And honestly, this has been one of the best decisions I think I have ever made for myself. I am literally, I have never in my life seen nothing like this up close but we're here now and we're gonna have a good time i'm it's, it's thursday um april the 4th and i'm late i'm not leaving until april the 8th which is going to be monday my flight is at four o'clock on monday if i'm not mistaken and i am so happy that i'm here i'm so happy that i decided to take this spontaneous trip i deserve this this is, I mean, this is like me coming to like collect my thoughts also to celebrate me hitting 2,000 subscribers I want to thank everybody that has subscribed to the channel thank you all so much for rocking with me and support me um, but this trip is also just to regroup refocus and you know take this all in and just be grateful that I was even able to make this big decision for myself whatever like that so we are here I'm getting ready to change my clothes I have on my airport fit which I got from Target this is like a Lululemon dupe I got from Target it was like $60 and I got on my Adidas uh, Sambas. These are some very flat shoes, but they are, they, they, they made the outfit do what they needed to do, whatever like that. And I'm just, uh, I'm so happy. Y'all, why do I not have a tripod? I don't have no tripod. The only tripod I have is for like a standing tripod to like stand y'all up on, but I don't have no vlogging tripod at all to walk around and hold my camera. So I, I'm, I'm, I, have to hold, I have to hold my camera this entire trip and I'm, I'm not really too fond of that. Cause y'all know I like to get different angles, but we're gonna make it do what it gotta do. So I ain't really worried about it. I just tried to fly my drone up here. I was trying to test it out and I jacked myself up, I'm bleeding. But let me, let me give y'all a room tour real quick. This room is very, very dark. Ain't no lights in here, is it? That's all, that's the lights out there. Yeah, this room is very, very dark. But y'all, this is my room. This is what the room look like. And I just thought that this was the most precious thing ever. Look at the little tall stuff animal. I don't want to touch it. I don't want to touch it. Oh, it's just so cute. Oh, oh, the head. Oh, wow. That's a blessing. Praise God. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just so happy to be here. I'm about to get changed and try to go find me some food. Just go explore the hotel, see what the hotel look like. I'm probably going to put on some shorts or something. I don't know what I'm about to do, y'all. I'm gonna have a good time, I'm about to relax. I'm about to spray this room down, actually, that's what I'm about to do, hold on. Handy daddy lights all. Ouch! Did y'all burn, bro? Hello? Hello, hey. How are you? 
Who? How you doing? I'm good. How you doing? I'm all right. I was calling this, so I made it. Bye. Bye. All right, y'all. So it is 3:35. I just changed my clothes real quick. I just threw on one of my love fluff outfits that I had packed in my bag, which is y'all see me wear the shirt before I wore it to Matthew's birthday dinner with my infamous black short swim trunks that I made into shorts, just in case if I want to dip my feet in the water or something like that, or just get in the pool or you know sit in the pool or whatever like that. And I got my um. Hermes Dukes, which you guys will be seeing these all weekend, the black ones and the brown ones, and I have bought my Yeezy, Yeezy slides and my Samba, so it's one of the shoes I bought. Um, but I'm getting ready to put on some sunscreen so I can go outside. I'm just about to see what's out, like what the hotel got to offer. I need to book me a dinner for tonight, or I might just go eat, I might just eat at the buffet tonight. I, I don't want, I really have a taste for some buffalo chicken wings. Right, do they have that? Do they got some buffalo chicken wings? Y'all, I'm still bleeding. That drone jacked me up, but it's okay though. I got enough sunscreen because I don't want to get burnt. In my scent, we were in Valentino. I bought these off Amazon. It's just a little thing you fill it up and you pop it in there. So I'm wearing Valentino. Look, how look at the color. Oh, that's so, that's so sexy. But yeah, we were in Valentino today. And yeah, that's going to be it. Let's go explore. Cause tell me why I came all this way and ain't got no lotion. I went in my room, put them out my, my little travel size lotion just to leave it at home on the dresser. But thank God I did have a little bit of hand cream inside my fanny pack already, so I just used that. But y'all, I'm still bleeding. I have to go get I'm gonna get a band-aid and I'm gonna explore the hotel, see what's popping. Cause I'm hungry. I ain't gonna lie to you. So if I see a buffet, I shall be eating. How you doing? How you doing? Yo, I got these glasses on. I can't see nothing. I need to put my regular glasses on so I can see. But yo, I just booked my excursion for Saturday. I'm going zip lining. I'm going, hold on, y'all. Hopefully, y'all can hear me. As I was saying, I, I, I had to change my glasses because I couldn't see. I had to come find some food. I am so hungry. We got nachos with like chili or something on it with jalapenos. I don't know. The, I, went, I stopped at the restaurant to try to get some food. He said that was closed. So, yeah. We got to try to try this. As I was saying earlier, I booked my excursions for Saturday. I'm going um, ATV in, zip lining, and I'm going to the Cenotes, where like it's, it's like the little uh, river where you jump in off the cliff into the river, and that's gonna be so dope. As y'all see, I'm standing on the beach. I didn't really want to come get wet today, but this is so beautiful. Like I deserve to be here. Ooh, it's, I deserve to be here. This is so beautiful. Like I don't even know what I can say besides it's beautiful. Like look at this. I'm building, I'm, I'm making memories right now. I, I brought my drone and my GoPro, so we are gonna be getting in the water and in the pools and stuff like that. But today, I just wanted to like get acquainted with the environment of the hotel and see what it's about. I am able to walk to different hotels. Um, I do have access to the other real hotels. I, I don't know where they are or how to get there exactly, but we're gonna figure it out. We're gonna continue to like walk around and sightsee. But I'm just so excited to be here. It's a blessing to actually be able to book a flight and get on a plane and book a room and come for four days out of, out of the country. Get y'all passport, I'm trying to tell you. We miss each other right now. Well, no, I got there on time. I got there with more on time. But you see, look, you see, I, I was barely going. I had to have you encourage me 10 times. This is not good. It's very interesting. Yo, I understand people have like concerns and they worry about people that travel alone or whatever like that. But I have had so many people ask me why didn't I find somebody to come with me and why didn't I do this and why are you why are you out there by yourself? And so many just negative like not not even not gonna say negative comments, but like like just you know just feedback about me being out by myself. And honestly, I'm grown. I am. 
but also sometimes people need time alone and I feel like this was what I wanted to do and it was my money you know what I'm saying so I was supposed to come with my co-worker but she had something that happened so she couldn't come and I, it, we, this trip was supposed to happen to last till next week but I didn't think it was gonna end up happening so something ended up happening to me so therefore I was like I'm going to take this time for myself and use this as a solo trip to get away reflect and take care of some personal issues that I have going on and that's gonna be that right I don't understand why people have like they don't they don't support solo traveling like you do not need a crowd of people to have a good time if you enjoy yourself you're gonna have a good time if you do what you want you're gonna have a good time if you move on your own time you're gonna have a good time so it's like I'm here to have a good time but that's just gonna that's what I'm gonna do I'm chilling like listen y'all can watch it let, watch me chill and enjoy me chilling because I'm not no party party root root turtle turtle type of person but I am I'm, I'm gonna try to go to like the Coco Bongo show um, I saw that on TikTok and I saw that on some other, other people's vlogs or whatever like that. I need to find, oh, maybe this is not the right hotel. Oh, wow, I just realized this is not the hotel the girl stayed at. Hmm, that's interesting. What hotel did she stay at? Where am I confused? Hey. Yeah. So we are at La Toscana. It's an Italian restaurant. Um, I'm hungry, so we can get some food. I got some water. Cheers. I just dropped y'all hard. Dang. I found me a tripod. I'm using my car mount that I bought, used in the, the bathroom, whatever like that, to stick to the table and it just hit the floor so i'm sorry are you all okay because i don't want to hurt nobody did it over taste it and call me still got love for your mommy i know you want to be somebody even if you gotta leave somebody yeah. yes i'm hurting yes i'm jaded yeah. most of these things i don't want to say Kayla, she just where you from? Uh, Georgia. Really? I was yes. just, I was just, what part of Georgia? Uh, middle Georgia. Where is that? Uh, it's like, you know where like Macon is? I've heard of Macon. Yes. It's right around Macon. Okay. Like, like an hour and a half from Atlanta. Atlanta. I was just, I was just in Atlanta in January. Really? I was. Oh God, yep. So mm -hmm. Where are you from? Detroit. Detroit. Mm -hmm. We have a layover in Detroit on Saturday. Okay. All right. I just tried that tiramisu. That is nasty. The strawberry ice cream is good, but it fell out my cone. But it was so nice to meet Kayla. She was cool. She said they have a layover in Detroit. And she's from Atlanta. I mean, she's from Macon. No, she, she just ain't Macon. It was so nice to meet her. She was cool. And she followed me on Instagram. Uh-oh, it's my birthday. So, yo, hey, happy birthday to whoever it is. Hey. Yeah, I'm having a ball. Hey y'all, y'all can't see me, but I can see y'all. I'm walking right outside the resort, just kind of like sightseeing a little bit, seeing what's out here. I think that's a fragrance store over there. I might have to go before I leave, because y'all know I love me a good fragrance. I'm enjoying Mexico. Uh, this is definitely something that I never would see myself doing like right now. Like uh, every time I would like watch people travel vlogs, I'd be like, oh, I wish I could do that. Oh, that's a, oh, that's a lot of money to go there. And but you know, like if you want, when you want, when you when you want something for yourself, you gotta make it happen. And that's what I did. The pools and stuff is closed, so it's, I, I, I was gonna get back, I was gonna get in the pool, but it's closed. Oh, the other Ryu. I'm gonna walk to the other Ryu. It's right next door. I know it's not. It's Kodak. Dang, I jacked up. 
Pour me where the food at. I'm hungry. Alright y'all, good afternoon. It is the next day, obviously it's like 12.32. I just got done getting dressed for the day. I still have on a black shirt from the swim trunks I got from Walmart. And I got my Yeezy phone runners on real quick. Because I'm probably about to go, I'm going downstairs to get some lunch because I did not eat last night. After I showed y'all that food on that plate. Okay, let, let me give y'all a recap of last night. So last night I showed y'all that I went, I was like showing y'all different places of the hotel. It was like 5B, I like guess. Aesthetically pleasing, you know what I'm saying? I had ended up going to dinner to another restaurant here at the hotel and got some more foods. So I ended up getting hungry. Um, and I showed y'all that I had the steak, the chicken, the fries, the piece of pizza, and um, the little pasta, whatever else on that plate. And I was like, take me, like, take me where the food is at. Yeah, the food's nasty. Um, all the food here that I've had so far is nasty. So, uh, one thing I had, on, the only thing I really enjoyed off of that plate was the fries and the grilled chicken. That grilled chicken was actually, it was in like season, but it was like grilled to perfection. It was, it, was, it, was good. it was just good. But after then, I was showing y'all that I was playing Kahoot, and then I was at the little uh, impersonation lip sync thing. I sat down there till like 11 o'clock, I was watching all that, doing all that. And I was dozing off the whole time. I was dozing off. I kept dozing off, and you know, jamming to music, dozing off. Boo, boo, boo. So then after that, I got hungry again, y'all. And there's no food on the on the, in the hotel after dark, except at this place, the place I went to have the nachos at yesterday. So they still had nachos. The only, only thing they had was chips and cheese. So then they also have a refrigerator with like pre-made food in it, and it's they had like hot dogs, hamburgers. They had a a bagel with cream cheese and salmon on it or something like that. It had then like a burrito. They just had like some pre-made like little stuff like that. You just throw it in the microwave and you eat it. So I really didn't want that. So I ended up getting a plate of chips and cheese, but the cheese is not good. So then after that I left and I was trying to walk around and see if I could find something to do or something like that. And I ended up going back because I was I'm, I'm so hungry. I want to, to charge my phone. I want to charge my phone in the lobby. I went back and I'm like, I'm so hungry. I'm just gonna try to eat this hamburger. So I made the hamburger. I dressed it up. Hamburger, lettuce, pickles, ketchup, mustard, a little mayo. Tried to you know make it do what it do. I've been to that burger, y'all, and I spat it out immediately. I didn't want that. No. So then after that, I'm like, okay, I'm, like, I'm just over this day. I'm gonna give me a little, a little non-alcoholic drink, a little something, something. So I, it was called a tropical something. It was like apple. It was apple, pineapple, grenadine, and something else. Because on the picture, mind you, the pictures, let me show you. Because y'all, the pictures is eating, but the, the stuff is not adding up to how it's supposed to taste. Like that pasta yesterday, y'all saw that pasta. That pasta on that picture did not add up to, I mean, on that plate did not add up to how it looked on that picture. Here you go. It was called a tropical pick-me-up. Like it looked, it looks rather delicious. It looks good. There we go. And it has apple, pineapple, mango juices, and grenadine. Nothing on this island is is, is delicious. The, even that daiquiri I had yesterday, earlier yesterday was not good. Like, the, nothing not on this island, but at this resort. So I don't know if like if you ever come to Rio, Cancun. I don't know if your experience might be different than my experience. Maybe I'm just used to American-made food and I'm used to stuff tasting like sugar and tasting like salt and seasoning that this is just like different for me. But if you come to this resort, make sure that you're aware that you're not gonna be eating. So I'm pretty sure by the time I go back home, I've been lo I probably been lost 10 pounds. So with that being said, let's get ready to go because I got to um, finish getting my stuff together. Get your wraps, come on, let's go. It's time to go outside. It's, it's getting late now, it's almost one o'clock. It's time to go eat. Yeah, I also realized I never finished telling y'all that I came upstairs and went to bed early with an attitude because I didn't have no food. So if you come here, go out and get some food because I was not going out late by myself in Mexico on the streets of the city to get no food at 11 o'clock. That wasn't gonna happen.
All right, y'all, so it's dark in this dining room, but we got a mussel, fry, fish, plantain and rice, nacho, some type of seafood, something right here, a plantain, fries, grilled chicken, mashed potatoes and gravy, and some more rice over here. This is a, like a fried, fried rice. No, I'm good, thank you. No, I'll take water. Yeah, water. thank you. It's edible. Now potatoes. Ooh, them is good. We was eating that last night. Shoot. Fried rice. That's good too. I never had a plantain. Let's try it. I don't have to eat that again. It's okay. It's not bad. All right, thank you. Try the fish. I'm happy. Alright, I'll talk to y'all later. Hey yo, I'm not even gonna lie. I used to call myself an ugly youth, but I'm not even an ugly youth. I'm a sexy youth, you understand? Girl all over the globe when I ask you, you understand? <laughs> Alrighty guys, we are back to the room. It is 5.15. I'm getting ready to get in the shower so that I can go out on the town and see the city. I knew that doggone jacuzzi wasn't closed. It's cool. I'm gonna get in there on Sunday. But anyways, yeah, I just got back from the beach, which is down there. But I was kind of more so around around that way. But I hope y'all enjoyed the, the drone footage. I definitely have to fly my drone again on Sunday when I go back to the beach. I might end up going back tomorrow if, if I have time. I want to book me an excursion to go. I want to get on the jet skis. They've been, they've, been, they've, been, they've been out there flying all day. And I was like, I should have booked me some jet skis, but I didn't know where to go. So I'm going to uh, go back down there tomorrow and see if they if I could book one. I stopped at the front desk to ask them, could I like book it? Like, who, where, where did I go? Where, where, where did I have to go? And she said that they usually be standing outside by the beach. But I didn't see nobody. So maybe I should... Maybe I'll walk back down there before I leave and, and, and ask. What y'all think? Or should I walk back down there right now? Let's just do it right now. All right, y'all. We got an excursion. Get it, get it, get Anyways. Anyways, yes, I went and booked an excursion. It was $79 or $75, one of them two. I went ahead and booked a jet ski, but I might go back down there tomorrow and book me parasailing. I might parasail on Sunday. Oh, wait, no. I can't parasail Sunday. I just did jet skis. 
Well, I could do two. I could do two on one day, right? What y'all think? I don't know. But well, we about to get dressed. So I got a couple outfits, but I don't know what I want to wear. I got this outfit which y'all seen me try on in my last vlog with these shorts. Once I got from when I was in Canada, or I got this shirt right here and I was gonna wear it with some white pants. But I don't really want to wear that off the resort. I feel like that's like more so like go down to dinner, lounge around that in that type of vibe. Yeah. But then I got these pants right here, right? With this shirt. I think this is the gonna be. I think this is the outfit. I think this was the one I want to wear right now. But if you pay attention. All my outfits can like be worn together. First off, I bought this same day, but I picked it out with different things. This is a whole set, actually. And if I wanted to wear these with this, I could wear. Now, why don't I have to wear this today with this? Okay, I might do that. And then I might wear this shirt with some white pants. What y'all think? I don't know, y'all. Let's just try the stuff on, see how it look. All right, y'all, we dressed. This is what we came up with. Got the shirt on, these linen pants. Got my sandals on again. I wasn't wearing my sandals, but no, nah, I want to wear the shoes just to be comfortable. I'm getting ready to step out. I might take some pictures probably first, and then I'm going to hit the road. Um, my scent, we're going to go my favorite dossier scent, which is the aromatic ginger. This, this is the best one. This is my favorite. This is the Louis Vuitton dupe. You can never have too much of this on. It don't smell so good. Oh my goodness. Let's see how many compliments I get tonight. You gotta stop putting on this much. I laid my hair down as well, as you guys see. I had the do-rag on in the shower. Laid the hair back down. You can't, you can't tell me I ain't just get my braids done. I didn't have these braids there for over a month. You can't tell me I ain't, I ain't just get these braids done. You can't tell me. You can't tell me. But I'm about to take some pictures on the balcony, and then we're gonna be gone. <music> Just left Starbucks and it was actually delicious. I forgot how good that doggone mango dragon fruit refresher is. But lemonade, oh my goodness. But I'm about to cut through this garage to get where I need to be at. We are on, we're gonna walk. To, I'm about to go to Senior Frogs so that I can get me some food because um, I'm hungry. So we're gonna go see what they talking about. I don't know if it's 
So we just left the restaurant. That salmon uh, tacos, they're really, really good. Y'all can't even see me. Y'all, they out here soliciting strip clubs and uh, booty cheeks to me. I'm like, no, I got a girlfriend. <laughs> they like, uh, you, you take your girlfriend with you. And then once, once one of them was like a happy ending. It was, a, it was like, she's from Columbia, she's from Columbia. I don't care, leave me alone. No, this is crazy. Sex traffic is real. So I think I'm at a shopping center of some sort, but I'm not about to buy nothing. I'm about to go right back down this elevator escalator and get the freak up out of here and go back to my hotel. Right now I gotta walk in the dark. Y'all, this, this white man just closed his door in my face. He literally purposely turned around and pushed the button on the elevator and closed the door in my face. That is so crazy. Y'all, I didn't got bamboozled out of ten dollars. <laughs> I was walking past the Hard Rock, uh, Hard Rock Cafe sign, and these guys in these costumes picked me up, took pictures with me, and then I gave them ten dollars for it. Look at this! They didn't pick me up and turn me upside down, child. <laughs> and then spending me out of my ten dollars. He told something for the both of us. I try if I can. I'll try to put them on the screen. I'm having the time of my life. This was such a needed trip. Then now I'm following mile, people because I gotta get back to my hotel. Make sure I'm safe. Whew. Say bye to the vlog, y'all. Say bye to the vlog. Put put the blue hearts in the chat. Put the blue hearts in the chat, y'all. I was I've been on live for 144 minutes. And we gonna calculate how, how long that is. Look at that. The blue hearts is in the chat. I love y'all. Y'all y'all been quiet, but y'all been watching. It is 11:10. I just got off live and off the phone with my grandma. I was on live for two hours and 25 minutes and we had a really good time. We had like almost 30 people like consistently the entire time that we was on there. We, we, we did spike and get like 40 some people I think. But for the most part we had about a good solid 30 people that was in there. We had a really good time. We were just talking and laughing. My grandma, they got the, they got the experience my grandma live in the action. So if you, have a, if you ever get time, you can go watch that live and skip to the latter part of it. She was she was cutting up. She was basically telling people how, how I was fat back in the day, because I really was. If you didn't know, if you're new here, I had weight loss surgery. I used to be 342 pounds. Now I'm a whopping 185, 190, yeah. But we had a good time on live. Everybody was in there talking. We had people that was talking with amongst each other and talking to me. And we just had a good time. It was really good. I'm just so glad I was able to do that since I did not put a vlog out today because I'm on vacation. And because of my vlog schedule, how I have it going right now, yeah, it just made perfect sense to just go live tonight. But I'm about to go back downstairs to see what's going on and see if they still have in the little concert. And I guess I'll bring my camera. I don't know if I'm going to even vlog or not. But I'm not going to be out long because I have to get up at 7 o'clock so that I can get ready for my excursions. I have to make sure my batteries are charged for my GoPro. And that I have all of my belongings for my GoPro. I might just bring my book bag. I might just bring the book, the book bag instead of bringing that little bee bag right there. So I have some clothes to change into tomorrow. I gotta figure it out. But we better go down here. So let's go. Well, y'all, the party is over. So I just end up coming back down here. To, I'm about to edit my video. Um, I have to edit and just chill out real quick. Nothing, but nothing major is popping off down here. Y'all can see nobody's down here. It's just like people that have groups of people, whatever like that. But I'm just chilling. I'm about to edit. And then I'm going upstairs. I forgot to tell you about how my food was though. My tacos, did I tell y'all, the tacos was really good. Like, I'm looking, at the, look, I'm looking at the picture again. And these tacos from that place, they were very tasty. Like, I would do it again. Like, what are you staring at? What are y'all looking at? Anyways, um, yeah. When I'm about to edit, 
I'm going upstairs and I'll probably pick y'all back up tomorrow. So I love y'all and I'll see y'all in the morning. Good night. All right, y'all, we have finished our excursion. I, I made some new friends. Hi. What's up, everybody? I just got dressed to really head down and give me something to eat. We in these streets, Bree. We outside. <laughs> I'm in love with the cold, cold. All right, y'all, we getting ready to ride the bus.